This is the time of year you need to be able to throw some decorations into place that really go wow. And boy, is this one going to deliver. Let's head into the craft corner. We're working on some beautiful wreaths, and we have Helen Sullivan with us, and she is with Arrowhead Studio Galleries. And you are in Old Fort, right? Yes, right we are. downtown in that beautiful Main Street area. Mm -hmm. And you are designing wreaths for us. Right. And these are easy enough for us to try on our own. Oh, absolutely. Okay. All I right. Mean, if I were doing a workshop on this, I'd probably do it in two hours. Mm -hmm. And at the end, you'd have a completed wreath and all the knowledge that you needed to create something bigger or with lots of different materials. Mm -hmm. We start out with a frame. I like grapevine because it gives us a fuller wreath. Oh, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. um, then I put Spanish moss on it. And you can see I've started here. You just wrap it around. Oh. Just squish go it. like this. Squish it a little bit to keep it cold. And you can see here that I've put what we call a flower pin, floral pin. Sure. Used a little um, pair of tongs to kind of lock it in place. That gives us something to hang up. Nice and sturdy way to hang it. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Then this is what it looks like when it's finished. And then you basically you have fun. Here are a couple that I started to give you an idea. Um, picked a color, picked some basics. Uh, there are a couple of traditional wreath making styles. Oh. One is to put something large on the bottom or at an angle. So these are just straw flowers with some pine. Okay, this is another way of looking at it, beginning mm -hmm. again. Uh, again, traditional six basics oh. and then a few other things around. Now, to when get you an say idea. traditional, how did you learn all of this? Oh, geez, I've been making wreaths of different kinds for years, and I kept trying to think. I made dried flower wreaths for a long time, uh -huh. and I kept trying to think, how can I make it easier, faster, and less expensive for customers? Uh huh. Because it could take days to make a dried flower wreath, and that tends to make it fairly expensive. Right. This I can sell or give away very inexpensively, or somebody can make it very inexpensively. Now, you also make them look pretty, but you go one step further, and they also smell pretty, too. They do. What do you do for that? Well, I brought a sample here. This is uh, Jack, uh, Applejack and, and Pool. Um, and you can use, I use the same scents that my husband uses to make uh, uh, potpourri, or pop uh, to make uh, scented candles. Oh, you use the same scent your husband uses for the candles. Yeah. Nice. But nice. you can buy the little bottles in craft stores, okay. pick a scent. Um, I have little spritzers at home, uh -huh. about that big, and I just spritz over the wreath, and you can see the finished ones. That's yeah. gorgeous. Now, this comes together fairly quickly, um, and you mentioned it's a great idea for a gift. Mm -hmm. I think we need to give them the gift you're sharing. The instructions for this one, shall we? Okay. Sure. All right. Go to our website, everyone. Click on the Craft Corner link when you get there. You'll find all the information, plus you'll find a link to the gallery as well. In Old Fort, go down there and check it out. It is so beautiful. The designs they've brought us so far in the Craft Corner will amaze you, and this is just the tip of the iceberg, if you will. Thank you so much for being here today.